I have a resurrection and life, says the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand in the right hand of the earth. And though this old body, earth wind, destroy this old body yet in my flesh, I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself. And my eyes shall behold not another. For we brought nothing into this world. And it's certain we should bring nothing out. For the Lord take it. And the Lord give it. And the Lord take it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How long I have to live, behold, I have made my days as a span long. And my age even as nothing in respect to me. Verily every man living is altogether vain. The man walking in a vain shadow, and is put in himself in heaps of riches, and he cannot tell who will gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly my hope will be this in thee. For I am a stranger with thee, and all of my father before me. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountain was brought forth, or even the earth was made, thou, God, art everlasting, and a world without end. Thou turned man to destruction, and again thou said, Come again, you children of men. For a thousand years in our sight is but as yesterday, seeing that there is past as a watch in the night. The days of our age are three score years and ten. And though men be strong as thou come to four score years, yet if thou spent them but labor and sorrow, they are gone. So teach us. Remember our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And as it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, and world without end.
And my family, I know your hearts are heavy today, but I want you to know that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot be. Amen. Let us go to God. Father, we come with a bow down here and a heart of death thanksgiving. Lord, just to tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Heavenly Father, for last night's rest. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for early this morning rise. Mm -hmm. but most of all, Father, we want to thank you for letting us live to see this day, Father. Yes. Yes. A day that we've never seen before and a day that we we'll never see again. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we want to thank you for blessing the mother, the grandmother, the aunt, the auntie, the sister. Lord, we want to thank you for blessing us, Lord God. You see, in many days that you have blessed her to be here. Lord, yes. we thank you, Lord God, for the weeks. We thank you for the months. We thank you for the year, Lord. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the second, the minute, the hour. And Lord, we just want to thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. We know, Father God, because of you, Father God, she was able to sustain what she went through, Lord God. Mm -hmm. But Father God, we want you to just thank your family, Father God. Yes. Take them deep down, Father God, and keep your loving arms of protection all around them, Father mm -hmm. God. Let them realize, Father God, it's not going to stop there in that house, Father God, because death moved on, Father God. But Father, we know that you was able, Lord God, to test them, Father God, to comfort yes. them, Father God. Lord, you test the heart, Lord, and let them realize, Father God, that if they want to see the mother again, all of those having to accept you as their personal safety, Father God, they will have to, Father God, because there's no other way. Yes. And then, Lord, I just want to tell you that thank you. Take the family, Father God, in your love and care, Lord. Yes. Lord, take each and every one of them, Father God. Realize, Father God, their hearts are hidden, Father God, and they're going to miss their mother, Father God. But let them realize, when they'll put their back and look around, Father God, just call upon your name. Because they are power in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, yes. you touch them, they shall be touched, and blessed they shall be blessed. All of these other blessings I do pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 First, I would like to give all the God shoulders, your pastor, my friend, my closest. I want to say this, dog. I call her Mama Mary. I love her to death. Because every day I used to talk to her and say things. When I be feeling down, she'll make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> she'll make me feel better. Yeah. 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 And I love her to death. Yeah. 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 She came to me one day. Come here, boy, I'm going to tell you something. I said, what is this? She said, look here. I said, I know you're going to be crying. But don't cry. Just say it. <laughs> and I'm um, sure I'm going to try a little bit of this song. I know what she told me saying, but the next song, y'all know she loved God is in charge. <laughs> told me, sing that for the boy. Who I see is two times when you're going to say, Lord, I know you've been so good for you. <laughs> Lord, I know you've been so good. Oh, Lord, I know you've been so good. You
church, amen. Amen. Lord, I know you've been so good. So amen. good. And you still do. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God for your days and this is done to us for right now we will have a four by the red here. How you pronounce it? Amen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Serenity. I'm the great granddaughter of Miss Mary Harper. I just decided to write just a few little words to describe how she knew me. Grandma, if I had to describe you, I would simply say you are a one incredible woman throughout my lifetime. Whenever I needed something, your natural instinct would kick in and you would come through for me in every situation. I can't begin to tell you how that made me feel, knowing in my heart that there was nothing you wouldn't do for me. It left me with such a deep appreciation to have such a loving and sweet grandmother like you in my life. You mean the world to me. All I have to do is look into your eyes to see the love you have for me. I remember you watching me when my mom went to Korea and you demanded Venetia to come and braid my hair. <laughs> and I enjoy our petty jokes on my mom. Love you always, Granny. Ren. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much, God bless you. Amen. Amen. This brings us down to reflection. And we see we have a uh, limit to two minutes, a lot of limit to two minutes. And we know that most of you all here, family member, and uh, most of not all, but I know most of you all would love to have something to say. But we don't want to be here all day, I know that, uh, you all can leave. So I have been asked to uh, ask you to keep your Mark Shore. Amen. Uh, and we do want to hear from some of you, but we don't want to hear from all of you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Amen. And I'm going to try to do you as you do the job. So I'm going to try to do the best of my ability. Amen. And uh, they don't have no a special order to do it. So I guess that's even going to hold to everybody. But now we realize that everybody can't come. And remember this no matter what you say today, uh, Sister Hoffman's not going to hear you. Amen. We should tell folks what we want them to hear while they're living. Amen. Amen. We won't have a whole lot to say when we get upset if we don't say anything. But now we are asked that you know that we have a remark come and be free with them. And if we start getting too late to then I have been given the truth to cut it off. Now we'll do it in a nice way. So come on in when you come. God bless you. Good afternoon, family. My name is Mikey Dunn, Hopper. Some call me Hopper, some call me Dunn. But I want to, first of all, be honored to the family. I will try to be strong. My mother, I am her nephew. I'm her nephew, and John Hopper is my father. I want to, uh, on behalf of my siblings, Leslie, as we call Hope, Christine, Brian, and Earl, they send their condolences out to y'all. They know, y'all know that they would want to be here, but due to circumstances. And they want me to let the family know that they love y'all, they miss y'all, and they're going to miss our Aunt Mary. Mm -hmm. She was a great aunt to me. She was a wonderful aunt. This is my sister Phyllis, the oldest. And we just want to let y'all know, we're going to be short, but we just want to let you know we love y'all and keep God first. That's right. And whenever you need someone, Call on the Lord. Yes. Jeremiah 33, he said, Call on me, and I will answer thee, and I will show you great things that no one would know. So just call on the Lord and trust in him. Yes. Yes. Not with your understanding, but with his and knowledge him. Yes. And he will guide you and show you the way. Yes. And I just want to say I love y'all. And there was a beautiful woman sitting in that land in that castle. But she's home now. All right. This is where we want to go. We want to go where she gone now. Mm -hmm. But we got to get right first. That's right. Amen. We got to get right first. Amen. Let our aunt, great-grandmother, grandmother, 
be an example for us. And that's all I have to say, and I love y'all all. She was beautiful, she was sassy, <laughs> classy, yes. extremely elegant, loving, compassionate, and, yes. and last but definitely not least, petty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the grandchildren, we often joked amongst ourselves and called her our petty queen. And sometimes she would look at us and wink and say, where y'all think y'all got it from? <laughs> so, um, you know, there are so many memories I have with my grandmother. Some days you just call and say, oh, well, I don't know what you had planned to do today, but I'm going to tell you, me and Charlie be there at 12, so you might as well be ready. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough, they pulled up and she said, let's get, let's get it going. Time to go get bumping around. That was our cold word for going shopping. So that's what we did. I will uh, always cherish those memories. Um, I will try to be as strong as she has always been. Now, one day, did she ever complain? The only thing she said was, God has me, and I'm all right. Amen. And I would cherish that because I felt so, so, so uh, in my feelings with everything going on. And she said to me, we are no better than anybody else. Everybody go through things, and we got to go through them too. So I would take that with me, and I would cherish that for the rest of my life. All our little petty moments, um, as y'all know, Grandma could read you. <laughs> and I would cherish those moments and keep those near and dear to me. She wanted all of us to, you know, granddaughters, stay sassy and classy and extra petty. <laughs> Love y'all, and we must remain as one. Give an honor to God and the family. Um, Pastor Wilkes, the house. I am granddaughter, the granddaughter of Mary Harper as well. And I think Belle said it the best. She was sassy. That's the best way to say it, right? Um, Always had a smile, always had wisdom to share. Um, I would just like to say she was always living in the present. Um, wanted everyone to love each other. I know I don't, I'm out of state and I don't get to see each other, you know, a lot of people, but my prayer and her prayer was, oh, the granddaughters need to get together. So we're hoping to get together more, you know, keep her legacy going and hopefully something she's imparted in one of us, you'll still be able to see as we carry on. All right, love you all. I'd like to say good evening. Uh, protocol has been established. Uh, I'm Camilla Stancy, the second, uh, the uncle of uh, and, um, James Blood and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and uh, Beverly. Um, I'm kind of tore up because uh, I seem just like family because every time I saw her, she would always talk to me and um, made me seem like family, always encouraged me to do what I do behind this camera. And um, she loved Princeville. I mean, she, she was at all the meetings, trying to make sure Princeville got back to where it was. But she loved her family. Um, I, I don't know all that you've been through, but I do know everybody goes through something. But in spite of, she still loved her children. That's all she would talk to me about. She things ain't going right today, but we are good, we are family. So I just want you to know, be encouraged, and know that she loved all of y'all in spite of. And just know that you need to continue her legacy. Thank you for allowing me to video because I know I wouldn't be here with the 100 rule thing. 
So it worked out. I've been videoing your fruits forever. So I, I think the Lord blessed me with this gift to do it. And at a time like this, it really come in handy. Another, uh, the paid away uh, uh, funeral, um, I forgot her last name. I know she's part paid away. The other funeral going on, they had called me. I told them I got to be here with my family because I am family to you all. So anything I can do, just let me know. And I am excited about being able to video so you can go back and look at it at a later date and see what happened. Because your mind ain't here today. I've been through it. I lost my mother. So your mind ain't here today. But when you go back and look at the video, it will help bring some closure. Right. So thank you. Amen. Hi, for everyone who uh, doesn't know my name, I'm William Dunn, uh, part of this Harper family. And that's my aunt. But that doesn't work out. I know it doesn't work out for the majority of the people in here because uh, me and my aunt had a lot of uh, serious conversations. Somehow I got the serious conversations. <laughs> Occasionally it seemed like, you know, every, you know, she's a lot of fun. Well, she wasn't always fun with me. <laughs> I went for rides and they were important rides. Even two weeks before she passed, she stuck me in the car and said, let's go. And I was like, I don't want to go. And she said, I'm driving. And I said, I really don't want to go. In the car we got, and we had one of those conversations that we generally have occasionally when she drags me aside, as I used to call it. But uh, I'm going to be real with you all because you all are my family. This is not about totally about Aunt Mary's legacy. Because Aunt Mary was about Jesse and Lossie's legacy. There ain't a one of us she didn't mother. Not one, which extended beyond her family. If you needed something, she made sure you got it. You got fed, you got housed, you got what was required to survive. So it, it kind of caught me a little bit that this was the time period that she passed because we're in a survival time period now. Maybe that's the example she wanted to leave. This is survival. We have to take care of each other in the manner she took care of all of us. So there, there's a reason you all feel, we all feel like that's our mother. That's because that's who that was to all of us, the whole family, the entire legacy. And just as the gentleman said, spread to the community. But mostly she grabbed all of us and said, this is who we are. So we have to take care of each other this this moment. This is not a great moment for all of us. We have to remember her legacy of realness also. Yeah. And she was also easy to make sure that things were light for you and you felt good about her telling you that kind of thing. So I'm not good at that though, sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. But I, I love you guys with everything I've got with everything I've got. Because the truth is, you're all I have. And I'm willing to give all I have back to you all because that's everything to us. So take care of each other. And uh, she'll be proud of us all if we just do that part. I love you all. Give it on to God. Uh, and on the family of uh, Reverend Wilson, all the ministers, and to everybody in the house, and to my Lord and Savior, uh, most of all. Uh, it's a pleasure to stand before you. Uh, I'm not family, per se, but uh, I am family. Vernon <laughs> uh, married my sister Nina, and they produced my niece, Bernice. <laughs> So that's how I'm connected to the family. But also, Miss Mary being the lovely young lady that she's always been, and being classy and sassy and, and all that good stuff. And, and she chose a select few boyfriends. <laughs> and I don't know what she saw in me. <laughs> But I was honored to be in, at least in the top two or three. <laughs> Amen. And so uh, 
Uh, she chose me to be her boyfriend. She would tell me, she said, look here. Tonight you can sleep with Shirley. But tomorrow night, don't you sleep with me? <laughs> All right. She'll tell me, uh, you, can, you can kiss her tomorrow now, but don't kiss her today. Today is our day. And uh, so you go back and tell her that I had you today. <laughs> Get my leftovers. <laughs> 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 but I, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I, you know, I, I thought a lot of the fact that she, she chose me, Amen, to, uh, to be one of the select few. And uh, everybody knows she was a lovely and wonderful woman. Yeah. You know, and uh, she's always fun loving. You know, I mean, she always kept it, you know, kept it alive. And, and I just, you know, thank God for the life and the legacy. You know that she uh, lived and uh, left behind. She was truly a wonderful young lady, and somebody that was uh, uh, very good to be around. You know how sometimes you love everybody, but you don't like being around people sometimes mm. because of how they are. But she's the type that you know you don't mind being around. Her. Yeah. You know, but she spread it, love and sunshine. You know everywhere she went. Yeah. Amen. And uh, just before I close, I would like to say also, uh, you know, me and Vernon, we go way back. You know, we used to go and evangelize the street together. And, you know, we had some fun experiences out there, you know, talking to people, trying to convert them to Christ. And, you know, he, he was really, uh, you know, uh, uh, what they call a fireball. And people think I'm old and all that like that, but they must have seen Vernon in that. <laughs> So we, we, we enjoyed those times together, and I just thank God for it. And let me just say this, as my niece's uncle, as well as her pastor, I would like to let you know that I am mighty proud of her, you know, for everything that she did for her grandmother. You know, I mean, everybody did their part, and I'm sure everybody did what they could, but she, uh, and I'm sure, you know, Miss Mary evidently selected her to do what she did, and you know, she didn't hesitate. You know, and I think that's very commendable, especially for a young person. Yeah. You know, I mean, she, you know, she stood right by at the time when I would go to uh, take my residence from the rest home to their appointments, and I would run into her and Miss Mary. You know, and uh, so you know, I, I've been kind of, uh, you know, a spectator, so to speak. But yet, also up close and personal, I've seen the care that she has shown to her grandmother. And I think it's very, very commendable. She ain't looking for no flowers or anything like that. She ain't looking for no recognition, and I know she ain't. But I, I still believe that sometimes you just need to recognize people for what they do and for what they did. Because everything that she did, she did from her heart. You know, and again, I'm not down on anybody else. And for everybody's contribution, That's right. I'm, I'm sure everybody played a role. But, you know, as my niece, and as her pastor, you know, I just want to say I'm very proud of her. You know, and I thank God for being there for her grandmother as well as the rest of you all. God bless you. She was taking care of my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so give the honor to God being everyone here. I just want to say I feel real because she was a lovable person. If you've been around her in a little time, you know that she's a lovable person. And then, I often say it, you got to love her. <laughs> you had to love her because she was a lovable person. Amen. And I just want y'all to know that she will be missed. Good job to all the pastors, all saints and friends, to my family, to all the family. You see, I can say this because I live right next door to them for, for some years on St. James Street. We all grew up together with marijuana in our heart. I think about my parents, my mom. 
She was a very loving person. She gave all she had to give, no matter what. I can remember times if I even need, she would come to me, she would give. I give back. I say to the family, know that she loved you. She cared for, for all of us from St. Jane Street up, Sue, Pat, Ever Girl, Charlie Wayne, Ethel, Bell Bell, Quick. You see, all of us, we grow up when we was always, and she always told them, I was their uncle. So I'm a part of this family, because I've been knowing them over 40 years or more. And that's a long time to know somebody and still be friends with them. I just give God the glory, the honor, and the praise, and the thanks for the time that she shared. Because one thing I can say about my mirror, she made everybody feel special. I don't care who it was. You know, you might say you were the first boyfriend, but I tell you, if you came there while I was there, my brother right here, she didn't care. She made all of us feel special, that we all was number one. That was one thing I can say about her marriage. She made everybody feel like they were number one, right. even down to her children. And we love her today. And we give God all the glory, all the praise, and all the thanks mm -hmm. for her life, for her legacy. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Uncle Rudolph. Hi, I'm Ethel. I'm the eldest daughter of my mom, Miss Mary Ivana Harper. And I'm representing myself as my kids say to me, Mom, you do things. But I took it from my mother. I took it under her wings. I did what she asked me to do. I want to appreciate you and tell my big brothers, I love you. All three of y'all. But the baby boy think he's my big brother anyway. But um, I love my nephew, my little sister Anne. I'm just saying, God, Mama, I, I mean, she was my mother for 58 beautiful, wonderful years. I can't forget, never will, and nobody can ever take her place. But to my two nephews, Darren, Kevin Jr., y'all some strong brothers. And stay together as we all will be. To my other siblings, Evelyn, Teresa, Pat, Sue, to Uncle Libra, Uncle John, as they call you, Chef Rack. <laughs> we love you. To my big brother Wayne and Yogi and all his kids. I love all of y'all. They help do everything that my mother taught me to do. She raised everyone. She embedded the community. As Rudolph said, from St. James Street all the way to over East Tarver, Elm Street. Mr. Liz Dunn said, I want to know what the honey, what y'all doing right now to that honey hub. Why? Because everybody stood at 703 East St. James Street, stand up for me. <laughs> and I would like to say one more thing. My son, Antavian, he's uh, gifted, he's educated, but he know how to do his thing. Must say by the line. My other brother from another mother. He told me yesterday, talking about, hey, my mama, I don't know what y'all going to do about there. Come be here. <laughs> but I know he was. Reverend Wilson, we appreciate you very much and all the minister of staff. Because without God, we cannot do anything. That's right. So we bless, and we appreciate everyone that's here and the ones that couldn't be here. As we salute my mother on this final journey on this side. Love you, Mom, but we're, we're strong. Pop a game alive. Thank you, church. Amen. God bless you, family. I knew Sister Mary from St. James Street, too, back in the day. Amen. Uh, like I said, we go way back. I'm not going to repeat what I already been said because what I've already been said is true about this. We sort of all connection, you know, down through the year, but then when I started coming to uh, Macedonia, we got back in touch again. 
and she would say, very, very hard. She had changed one thing, and I was glad she had. And we love her, like you all had just said, to know her was to love her. And I thank God for her. And I had a problem uh, calling her name. I would call her every night because the night was good, and they said something, they stayed together a lot of So I got a name, and still I always called her every night. She always didn't know she was very hard, very hard. But we thank God for her and thank God for y'all. God continue to bless you and keep y'all, keep in his keep the kid. God bless you. We're gonna move on now and uh, we'll have a solo by Elijah on so, life. We have a church paper by Sister Barbara Fast. <coughs> Uh, I said tomorrow, my brother Tyler, I ain't going to call him today. Me and Tyler here, one cup of milk. Love is just like a brother. I hear everybody.
Suffer thy foot to be moved, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forever, evermore. March the 11th, 2020, Wednesday evening, our dear sister, Mary Yvonne Harper, departed this life to go to her heavenly home. Although our records were destroyed in the 1999 flood, we do know that Sister Harper joined Macedonia Baptist Church in the late 1960s under the leadership of the late Reverend John Williams. Mary was a faithful member yeah. of Macedonia. She worked tireless for the church, attending Bible study regularly, and always picking up things for the church. Not only then, but she also picked up many things for others, self-included. Mary loved her church and she supported it in every way she could. After joining Macedonia, Dickens Yvonne Williams solicited Sister Harper to assist her as financial secretary, a position she held until her passing, 49 years. Sister Harper <clears throat> could shuffle some money. She count real fast. <laughs> she, um, I also asked um, one day in the financial room, did you ever play cards? She was <laughs> ringing the eye And she said, Sister, I won't always say. <laughs> So they let me know she uh, learned somewhere that she could move some money. <laughs> Sister Hopper <clears throat> was a member of the Macedonia Chorus. She also assisted in the kitchen. She made sure we had aprons. She had someone just make aprons for the church. Sister Hopper loved people. She didn't mind helping anyone. Yeah. But don't ask her anything if you were not prepared for the answer. <laughs> <laughs> she would tell you exactly what she think, whether you like it or not. Yeah, that's right. Mary loved life, and she enjoyed life. Yes. She lived it to the fullest. Yes. If you're not feeling very well when you see her, you will forget all about how you were feeling, that's because right. she will have you feeling a different way. Mm -hmm. Mary loved laugh. She loved to have you laughing. Be it resolved, we, the members of Miss Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church, have suffered a deep loss. We are going to miss Sister Hopper, who was a faithful and dependable member of our church. 
Let the sympathy of Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church be extended to the Harper family. May the precious memories of Sister Mary Ivana Harper keep you ever on the road that leads to God. Humbly submitted on this 21st day of March 2020, Pastor Reverend Marvin Wilkes, the officers and members of the Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church. <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here. I'm going to start off by reading a few cards and thanking a few people. As some people journey through life, they leave footprints of kindness and love, courage and compassion, joy and faith, even when they're gone. Their trail they've left behind continue to aspire Praying God will comfort and care for you while we celebrate the legacy that lives on. With sympathy, Mildred Baptist Church. In times of sorrow, when words of comfort, comfort are needed most, it seems they are most difficult to say. But may you find comfort in knowing that warm thoughts and sympathy are with you. Love, East St. James Street Family. With prayers and heartfelt sympathy, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. May God be your tender comfort in sorrow and bring peace and strength in the days to come. Dr. Power and Staff. With sympathy. May you find kindness to warm you, sympathy to comfort you, and cherish memories to bring peace to your heart. Vita Edgecombe Cancer Center. <clears throat> right now, when your loss is so fresh, it may be difficult for you to imagine that this pain will ever go will never go away. But in time, the blessings of God's unfailing grace will soften the hurt that you're feeling and bring your heart the peace, comfort, and hope that it needs to heal. Until then, please remember there's a circle of friends <laughs> surrounding you. Who are embracing you and lifting you up in prayer. Lisa and Pooh. Our wish for you in your loss. We wish we could take away the hurt and the sadness in your heart. We wish you could calm, we could calm your spirit and bring you comfort. But most of all, we wish we had more than just these words to let you know how truly sorry we are with our deepest sympathy. Goldsboro Sigma Chapter. With sympathy for the loss of your mom, her voice will echo in memories you hold, her smile will warm you through stories retold, her love will touch you in spirit each day, her life will be treasured in beautiful ways. Praying your com comfort by memories and held close in God's love as you grieve. Love the Brown family. Trusting God to hold you very close in your loss. With thoughts of love to gently remind you that in this time of sorrow, you are deeply cared for, even when our words don't come out right. From Sunshine Ministry. A rose has bloomed in heaven. A rose has bloomed in heaven. Its fragrance fills the air. It grows in God's own garden is mature in his care. A rose has bloomed in heaven, and whenever loved ones part, they blossom forth in memories in the gardens of the heart. May you find comfort in these words and in the thoughts and prayers of those who sympathize and care. To my family from Vernon Harper. Thinking of you in your loss. God hears your cries for him, and even when he doesn't remove your trials, his loving arms are there to hold you close. His love will guide you. St. James Temple Missionary Baptist Church. May you find comfort in God's promise of eternal life, knowing your loved ones lives and loves you still. May God continue to bless the family, love Marvin Wilkes and family. 
Our condolences go out to you and your fa family for your loss. Peacefully, sleep comes to a dear beloved heart. Quietly, we understand the time has come to part. Tenderly, beloved shines on a never ending light. Gratefully, we feel its warmth and say sweet dreams good night. Our loving thoughts are with you in the time of your loss. P.S. May God continue to bless you and your family. God, he is my real dad, the maker of all things. He knows when I am good. He knows when I am bad. When I was only seven, I accepted him in my life. Now I'm heading down the right path, and hopefully I'll see you in heaven. Thick pen. And thanking a few people. Um, Miss Gloria, Miss Margaret Ruffin, the Baker and Johnson family, the DeBrew family, Mr. James Mitchell, Mr. Daryl Robertson and family, Lisa and Pooh, Mr. Shonda Pippen, Miss Valencia Lewis and family, Miss Rita Parker and family, Miss Ava Porter and family, Mr. Lenard and Miss Gwen Giles, <coughs> the class of 1983, Deborah Brown, Pearl and family, child support and DSS. Stephen Kearney and family, Pastor Angela Jones, the Hinton and Bullock family, Apostle Harrison Saunders, Ms. Carla Bryant, Power of Praise Ministry family, the Brown family, Carnell and Geraldine, Mr. Earl and Ms. Maddie Miller, Ms. Tony Clark Mayo and the Southern Terrace family, Mr. Purnell and Ms. Betty Johnson, the committee prayer team, the prayer warriors, Pastor Maisie Dunn and Temple of Truth, Miss Marilyn Smith and family, Bishop Van Sharp and Newness of Life Christian Center Church family, Miss Elizabeth Harrell, aka Sugarfoot, the Ransom family, Deacon Whitehead, aka Sco Scobo, St. Luke Missionary Baptist Church, Pine Stop Highway, Tarboro, Zavanda and Shirley Mobley, the Wilkins family, Mr. and Mrs. James Ray Thickpan, the Brown family, Patricia, Bud, Teresa, and Wanda, a.k.a. Boyd, Mr. and Mrs. Grover Cromwell, Mr. and Mrs. James T. Wilbur. Now to the obituary. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy 4, 7. Mary Ivana Harper, age 79, the part of this life on Wednesday, March 11, 2020, peacefully at her home. She was born July 2, 1940, in Edgecombe County, North Carolina, to the late Jesse Harper and Lassie Davis. She was educated in the Edgecombe County School System, W.A. Patillo, and Edgecombe Community College. She was a faithful member of Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church for many years. Over the years, she was employed at different jobs that include Hemby Willoughby Funeral Home, Servo Mason, McDonald's, Polly Lock, and Glennett Mills. She retired from Black & Decker. In addition to her parents, she was preceded in death by one son, Maurice Eugene Harper. Four sisters, Bessie Harper Knight, Catherine Harper, Glennie Mae Harper Covington, and Martha Harper. Two brothers, Jesse Harper Jr. and Benjamin Harris. Mary leaves a legacy of love and memories to three sons, Charlie Hopper, Wayne Harper, both of the home, and Vernon Harper of Greenville, North Carolina. Two daughters, Elka Harper and Angela Harper of Water, both of Tarboro, North Carolina. One brother, John Harper of Washington, D.C. Four sisters, Annie Dickens of Princeville, North Carolina, Pastor Maisie Dunn of Tarboro, North Carolina, Geneva Perry of Battleboro, North Carolina, and <coughs> Thelma Puddle of Portsmouth, Virginia. Thirteen grandchildren, sixteen great-grandchildren, and a host of loving relatives and friends. A fallen limb. A limb has fallen from the family tree. I keep hearing a voice that says, grieve not for me. Remember the times, the laughter, the song, the good life I lived while I was strong. Continue my heritage, I'm counting on you. Keep smiling and surely the sun will shine through. My mind is at ease, my soul is at rest, remembering all how I was truly blessed. Continue traditions no matter how small. Go on with your life, don't worry about falls. I miss you all dearly, so keep up your chin until the day comes we're together. Acknowledgement. Perhaps you sent a lovely card or sat quietly in a chair. 
Perhaps you sent a floral piece. If so, we saw it there. Perhaps you spoke the kindest words as many friends could say. Perhaps you were not there at all, just thought of us that day. Whatever you did to console our hearts, we thank you so much, whatever their part. The family deeply appreciates each and every expression of sympathy during this very difficult time. We appreciate all the love and support it's been into us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Regis, amen. Uh, I want to thank the family for giving me this opportunity to serve for you all. Thank you for thanking me. And my job is all over done. Uh, we will have a song by the strong family. And the next voice you will hear that we appreciate will be none other than other than that of the brother Marvin Will. Hear him for his grace and ability. Let us pray for him as he comes to us. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Christ while I leave here today to minister staff. The listeners and audience also to the Hoffman and Davis family. We give God praise also to the Willoughby staff. We thank God for all that is here. Amen. We thank God for the time that we have spent with our listeners. Sister, yes. and we give God the praise. Amen. Yes. We thank God for you being here today. And we thank God for the opportunity to give some words of consolation. Amen. And I know many things that will be said today will be quickly forgotten. But they say they have put it on tape. So in your leisure time, you will go back Amen. and you will have a reflection Amen. All right. this day. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, the attendance here is not and will not reflect who our deceased sister were. That's right. As far as being the person that she was. That's, That's right. right. But we know that we are living in some unusual circumstances. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Because of this virus that has brought about <clears throat> division, Amen. seclusion, mm -hmm. many other things that it affects everyone's lives in a various unusual way. Yes. yes. Amen. And we thank God that we won't feel uh, Sean or feel like, you know, she didn't mean very much because the crowd is not here. Well, we know that God is able to do what we can't do. Yes. Yes. And we know the situation and circumstance, so we bless God. Amen. Amen. So we thank God that we're going to be with you today. A little brief. It won't be long because we know that it's been a long grievous process and we are uh, trying to restore some closure but we know it's a process yes, sir. and we can't close it out in one day Amen. and I'm here to give some words of consolation and I know the program is saying eulogy mm -hmm. and we know what a eulogy is it's speaking well things about the deceased mm -hmm. and I have some, some special memories all right. We have heard so many this morning talks about uh, their mother, or their sister, or aunt, or the cousin, or whoever may have some words uh, tucked away in their heart of that special memory that. Mm -hmm. And I too, and people, uh, uh, you all in particular, wonder what does the pastor have to say? Mm. All right. Come on now. Well, I do hear in a very special way. And all that has been said about Sister Mary, a high spirit person. Yes. A person that uh, you would know that she was in the room. Hmm. That's right. Come on so we thank God for that spirit. You know, that spirit of enjoying life. You know, you can be saved and enjoy life. All That's right, right now. So That's right. right. Again, you know, that we got to be you know, so silent, so good. Hmm. Come on, now. We can enjoy life you know, because it's precious. Yes. yes. And we thank God for this spirit uh, uh, that has been taken away from us. But we have the legacy that has been left behind in remembrance. And we all remember her in a very yes. special way. Yes. All of us have that story to tell. That's right. If we could write a book, we could write a great novel, but we thank God that we can live and set an example of being high spirit. Some will call it sassy or fancy or whatever it may be, mm. but we knew her that way. She loved a pastor. Amen. She to love her and her family. You know, kind of unusual that you know the children hmm. of the deceased, you know, from Charlie, Ron, Ethel, and, uh, Angela, and the deceased, uh, Maurice, and uh, I forgot one, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew them, they were real mannered children. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Come here and speak to the pastor. That's it. They didn't go by them, though. They had to come and speak to the pastor. That's right. So we thank God for that remembrance and very careful and, and just the repetition of what's been said as her stay here in Macedonia at the time that I've been doing very supportive to the church and the church family. Whatever he asked her to do, she would do it. And, and uh, you know, just a caring person. You know, yes. Sharing with me and others. 
whatever she had, she shared with her pastor. You know. Amen. Well, yeah, you know, I got someone coming to you, you know, what? So we thank God for Amen. that, you know, that she would have that caring type spirit and for her family. And you know, uh, it's a fitting occasion because, you know, we look at what's happened global around the world yes. and how that it all kind of come through the circles to family. Mm. The immediate family of here today. And family speak great body. That's right. That's right. God so ordained family. That's right. <clears throat> and we grew up in a family. That's mm. right. And we thank God for family. Great. Even though Amen. you know we may not go along as well, but we love one another. All right now. You know, it was almost like a mandate, you know, you didn't have your own room or your own bed, you know. Everybody kind of came in together, sitting at one table, round one heel. Yeah. Come on. We understood That's right. family. Yeah. Yes. All about the close yes, of a family. Yes, and you know, we thank God for you all family and, and the little words that I can share with you, you know, concerning family. Mm -hmm. I remember as a sheriff officer, son, I, I tell you this story because it deals with family. We grew up, you know, a big family, large family, or whatever, and how we lived on the farm. And I can remember, you know, on certain occasions that we learn how to do farm stuff, shepherd. Maybe you, maybe you don't know about it when you're young and all. But I remember we just had to chop the fields. That's right. And it was the weed, the uh, grass out of the crops. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember all of us would have a roll of hope. We'd be chopping, right, chopping, right, chopping. Right. And sometimes, <laughs> On that road, that given road, there was more grass seemed like on that road than the other road. Amen. And sometimes, you know, you have some way up the road there. Mm -hmm. And some stuff and try to mm -hmm. chop that down. Yeah, right. Much like life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we struggle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it seems like our road is much harder than others. Amen. Yes. But everyone has a road. Amen. To chop. That's right. But one thing I learned about family, <clears throat> mom and dad would be out there, they would be leading the procession. But I remember every once in a while, daddy, he would hit mama road. Mama stayed over him. You know. They were leading us, you know. And I was, kind of felt like they were cheating a little bit because he was. Have a mom. Have a mom, you know. But there was one other thing that I, I recall. And it, you know, just, just resonated with me. When everyone got out, and even though you were way back there, mm -hmm. they didn't start on another road. No, Everybody got on your road. Mm -hmm. That's how we did it. We didn't start on another road. Everybody went back on that person, the person that, that there was, you know, right. struggling. With that road. Mm -hmm. Well, some of us, you know, more swift than others. Mm -hmm. So we would help him or her out. Yeah, that's right. Amen. And then after everyone would help each other out, we'd stop. That's, that's how we are as family. We should be able to help mm -hmm. one another. All right now. A long life journey. That's right. Everyone would have to chop their own road. Mm in life. Yes. But let us be a helper mm -hmm. of one another. That's right. Exactly. I'm going to read a, a little scripture and we'll be some proof. Mm -hmm. As we look at <clears throat> our deceased sister today uh, on memories. She was a happy person, a fun person. Yes. But she's gone on. Mm, that's right. And have left us behind. Yes. Mm. And all that I can say about her is she'd be great if you missed. Yes. Mm. Yes, she will. But life goes on. Amen. Yes. Yes. So we thank God for life. Mm. Yes, yes. yes. But one day, one day, mm. we two are going to lie in state. All right. That's right. And we want to be sure and very sure. 
that we have made Jesus the Lord of our lives. Yeah, mm. That's right. Our love family, because we are family. Mm -hmm. Our love family, I implore you, while the blood yet still runneth warm, Amen. while the heart is beating, is pumping, yeah. make Jesus the Lord of your life. Because yeah. one day, Amen. we're going to yeah. leave here. We're only here for a few days. That's right. They're yeah. all filled with trouble. Yeah. Trouble yeah. time will come. Yes, sir. That's right. And because we become children of God, mm -hmm. we're not excluded from troubled times. Amen. But God give us the peace mm -hmm. and his grace, the joy to go through time like this. Mm -hmm. In time like this, we need a Savior. Yes. And his name is Jesus. Jesus. The world itself is looking for answers. Mm -hmm. How can we fight this virus that we cannot see and it's being transmitted and both old and young and fear grips the heart of it? How can we fight this? The world is looking for answers, but they're looking in all the wrong places. Talk if about this virus is going to be contained, Jesus yeah. Christ is going to fix it. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. This particular intrusion in lives, an executive order cannot be signed to fix it. Come on, right. A bullet cannot take mm. care of it. A bomb drop cannot take care of it. Mm. That's right. What should we do? Where should we go? We don't have enough. We don't have enough of this. Yes, yes. But Jesus is the answer. All right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. As we go to St. John, the 14th chapter, mm -hmm. let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Mm -hmm. In my Father's house of many mentioned, mm -hmm. if it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Mm -hmm. That where I am there, you may be also. Come on. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Mm -hmm. and Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not for thy good. Mm -hmm. How can we know mm -hmm. the way? Mm -hmm. Now Jesus makes this point. Yes. He takes all the gifts work out of it. He states and said this to Thomas. Mm -hmm. Thomas, mm -hmm. I am the way. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I am truth. Yeah. Yes. And not only truth, I am life. Mm. That's right. No man coming unto the Father but by me. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can't bypass Jesus and get to heaven. Amen. That's right. But we use for such an authority, I would simply say, how may I know the way to heaven? Amen. As I stated, Jesus take all the guesswork out of it. Take all the maybes and I hope so out of it. That's right. He tells the way. I am the way. Hmm. One way to glory. Word that I come to bring you to uplift your spirit. His life changes. Mm -hmm. The disciples have followed Jesus for three years. Live now. Because Jesus was going to the cross will be shattered. Confusion will sit in. Anxiety. And all of this will grip their mindset. And then they will be devastated because the one that they have trusted mm -hmm. will be gone. That's right. But comfort. The word of God would comfort their heart. The God of all comfort now will comfort us here today. Yes, you will. He's able to bring some joy in spite of situations, yes. in spite of circumstances that you're facing. May not be able to understand it. The tears will fall. Some say, don't cry, be strong. But if you have to cry, cry in it. Right now. There's yes. nothing wrong with crying. Yes, sir. Because people don't know how you feel. Come they on now. say, I know how you feel. I lost the mom, but no one knows. All right, man. How no one feels. Amen. Grief is something that everyone must serve and, 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 and attain to it in their own way. Mm. Some will cry instantly. 
Some will find themselves trying to weep later. Right. right. That's how we come. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Nobody knows but God. And there's something about grief. All of us will go through the process of grieving. Like I said, it will take some time, years, and all, most of your life. You will always remember this day in the sin. But another thing that is so this, this part is regret. Yes, sir. Grief and regret is a very bad, bad combination. Family, mm -hmm. if you love me, tell me you love me. Mm. That's right. If you got something to do or say, just tell me. That's right. Amen. While the blood is going to form. Mm. If you got flowers to give mom or dad or brother or sister, give them. Amen. All these flowers is good. Mm -hmm. But to the one who at rest, mm. what good are they? They become decoration in a sense. Mm -hmm. Grief and regret. I should have, I could have. Amen. But it's too late for one line of state. All right now. Yes, sir. Do it by the blood that one is Yes, sir. I love you, Mom. Amen. I love you, Dad. I love you, brother. I love mm. you, sister. That's right. And if you need me, come on now. Come back. Amen. Amen. That's right. All right. I'm going to see sister can't help. She's going on, but she has left. Be joyful and happy in this life. Mm -hmm. Love one another. Care for one another. Mm -hmm. Nothing I can say today will help her. Mm -hmm. But according to her testimony of faith, she made Jesus the Lord of her life. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. So it's where her soul today. Yes, she right, yes. She's not here with us. Mm -hmm. The spotlight is on you and I. Mm -hmm. When death comes, and it will come, I can tell you when it's going to come. Yeah. Sooner or later, yeah. you're yeah. going to have to give an account of the point that man wants to die. That's yeah. right. But you want to be sure and very sure where you going to spend eternity when death comes. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Lest the Lord Jesus will come with the shout and the voice and the heart and the dead in him will get up. All of us will lie in state. Yeah. Mm. But it's more
Lead them to the end of the world. Yes. Don't let your heart be troubled. Yes. Don't let it be afraid. Amen. Thanks God that we are not fearful. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. As a minority, we become a majority because if God be for you, he's more than the whole world against you. Yes. Amen. So we thank God that we have the victory. Yes. And it's only in Christ Jesus. Amen. How many of you know the way to hell? Amen. Only one way. Only one. There's not many ways. One way. One way. You can't bypass the cross. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Jesus paid our sin right in full. Why would he need a savior? Because of the one man Adam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Disobedient act of Adam brought all of us yes. into the dread of point of sin and death. That's right. Man. All in Adam died. Yeah. Thank God for the second Adam in Christ Jesus all in, in Christ Bill. Yeah. Yeah. How many out of you? By believing the written report that he died. Yes. He was buried. He got up the third morning with all power. Uh -huh. If you believe that in your heart right now, by faith, yes, sir. then heaven is your home. Mm -hmm. So we thank God. Amen. How many are the only way? Jesus is the way. Yes, he is. Amen. And her life mm. has gone out. She will be this. For the glory of God now will shine brighter than ever. Yes. Now she knows that it was all worth going through. Mm -hmm. yes. Suffering, shame. Mm -hmm. But that now the light shines and she caught the glory of God in his presence. Mm -hmm. It's for him. Yes. The light that grown up. The voice is silent in our ear, but in our heart it still resonates. Yes. yes. Amen. Something that you can keep for us. Uh, yes. So we thank God for the memory. Yes, sir. That's right. We thank God for his blessed hope in him. Mm. And him alone. Hallelujah. Uh, John 3.16 mm -hmm. kind of sums it up. That's right. For God so loved the world that he gave. Uh -huh. His only begotten oh, yes. son. The resurrected one. Mm -hmm. That whosoever believe in him. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. A gift that keeps on giving. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. You don't give up. No, sir. In times like this, sorrow and fearfulness, mm. don't let your heart be troubled. Uh -huh. Yes. We have something now that will bring us into a relationship of peace and joy, unspeakable joy. Mm. You can only find it in Jesus. Yes, sir. How may I know? The way to heaven. Amen. It's in Jesus yes, and Him alone. Amen. Family, be a good cook. Yes. Be a good chief. Mm -hmm. Yes. The joy of the Lord will fill our hearts. Mm -hmm. It's a grief process, mm -hmm. but it's also joy. Mm -hmm. Because she had made Jesus the Lord of her life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we come. And she had come to the end. Of her journey. Yes. It was a good day. Mm -hmm. An earthly mm -hmm. journey have ended. Hallelujah. But thank God, a heavenly resident, mm -hmm. a new heavenly resident, mm -hmm. have been installed. Yes. Mary is at home. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Be a good kid of courage. God loved us. Yes. And because of his love for his children, mm -hmm. he's going to see us through this. Yes. 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 And because of who he is, mm -hmm. love is the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no offense. There's no defense. Mm -hmm. Doing it God's way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. 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 How many I know a way to him? Because we all want to go to heaven. Yes, sir. Amen. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the way. He's the way. Amen. The way. Amen. And the only way. Only way. Amen. Love one another. Mm -hmm. Those who don't know him. Mm -hmm. And those who do know him. Mm -hmm. Love those. Yeah. Unconditional. Yeah. 
I love you because you love me. Love in spite of. Amen. You have what it takes. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. I don't expect everybody to love from the sincereness of their heart. Mm -hmm. But when you know who Jesus is, uh, hmm. you can love in spite of. It. You can love unconditionally. Amen. That's right. So we thank God yes. for the way and the only Jesus. Yes, sir. And I have more Six Paul, six nephews for a pauper. Amen.
Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
That's a new one, ain't it, Arca? Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, let's go up, sit them gently on the road. I'm 
against her. Please I'd like to ask if, if you will, if everyone would gather in around the tent so everyone can hear our committal services and prayer. Ask everyone if you will gather right in around the tent. Pastor, in your own way. For oh, as much as <clears throat> please Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth. Ask to ask us to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and in the life of this world to come through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as his second coming and his glorious majesty to, to judge the world, uh, the earth shall give up their dead and the sea, and those bodies, the corruptible bodies that have slept in him shall be changed and make in like unto his own glorified body, whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus the Christ, once again, Lord, you have blessed us. And as we gather here, Lord God, at this uh, closing of this service, Lord, we pray for your anointing power, your grace, for we know it's always sufficient. We pray, Lord, that you continue to undergird this family, Lord God, bless them in a very special way. Keep them together, Lord God, in the hour of agreement, Lord God, you give us what we stand in the need of. There's nothing new that we can bring you, Lord, you know our situation, you know the circumstance. Now as we, Lord, ask you for your grace. We pray for those who have traveled both far and near, that you continue to bless them as they travel back to their different locations in with safety. We thank you for the staff of Willoughby. We thank you for all, Lord, acts of kindness toward this family during the hour of agreement. We just ask you now to continue to bless us as family. Love us, Lord God, as we love one another. For us in the precious name of Jesus Christ we pray. Dear Christmas friends, in addition to what's been said and done, the family of the late Mary Ivana Hopper will have me to thank their many friends for all acts of kindness that you have rendered to them during the passing of their loved ones. They will also have me to announce that dinner has been prepared over at the Indigo Lounge. Each of you is cordially invited. Now we're going to have a closing benediction, after which family and friend may return to your cause. We truly thank you one and all for coming out today, showing the family your love and that you care. Now as we lift our hands, we look unto him that is able to keep us from falling, and he's able to present us one day faultless before the throne of God with exceedingly great joy. May the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rest root and abide henceforth forevermore. Let's all say amen. Amen. amen.
Oh, that's right. I can't remember. Oh, are you good? I don't want to end the road. Step on my foot. Step on my foot. Hey, hey, don't worry, I got to do it. Mm -mm. This is gonna hurt. I got the fire. I got some shit. Oh, are you there? You there? What's up, man? All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Debbie? Oh, oh, oh. I know you can tell me to go All right now, what's up? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh. Real good. You all right, babe? Can you?
What you find? You find? You find? You find? <laughs>